my life together. I gotta do my nails. I'm gonna do a face mask. Um, my face is doing pretty good, but you can never be too certain. It's nice and moisturized and ready to go. Oh my God, there's a fucking expired. character like the spider was definitely giving paid actress oh so i'm about to go in and use my moisturizing eye masks from timu they come in a pack of like i don't even know how many but it's so many in here that you could probably never run out and they are really inexpensive so i use these especially when i have used a lot of makeup on my face and i don't clean my face and i need to put some moisture back into my face and like i said in the other video y'all listen proactive not reactive because i don't know my designer bags aren't like real bad but i don't want them to get real bad sis okay so yeah got these from timu and i probably wear these like three or four times out of the week and it's so many in there i barely even put a dent into the um the, the product i love that timu has so much to offer not just clothes but also beauty products and home products okay i gotta do my nails because i literally have not done my nails y'all in so long it's actually not okay but really i haven't done them because they just been growing so good and i just you know we just been vibing like me and my we just been chilling and vibing. I love being a girl. I love getting ready for the weekend. I love getting ready for dates and stuff. I know I haven't been on a date in a while, but it's not the point. Technically, I have been on a date. It wasn't a good date. It didn't go nowhere, but I did go on a date. So mind your business, okay? NT way. Remember I told you about this in my last vlog, I think? It's the little pump that has like you push down on it and you like yeah anyway i use this for my nails i literally just pump down on it and this is like my little alcohol pad for my nails i got it from timu of course sometimes i really do wish that i was more careful and more mindful about where i wish my bar started like up here like instead of like inhale i wish it started like up here so i wouldn't have to you know do all of like the reminding or like the but you don't have to remind nobody about your where your new bar is like the bar is where it is i'm gonna tell you one time and you better get with the program okay and if you don't you got to go i feel like we all done had like our moment though of like stupidity i don't even want to call it stupidity though because it's not being stupid like it's kind of being like maybe naive i don't even want to call it ignorant because i feel like ignorance has such a like negative connotation on it i feel like it's just like naiveness of like you haven't been through something so therefore you're going through it right now and it's like if you would pull yourself out and look on the inside you will be like girl what are you doing and i feel like we've all done that before i wish we didn't have to though i hate when i see like women like embarrassing themselves because i did it y'all seen the story times thinking about thinking back thinking back oh my gosh baby girl absolutely not like remember that boy I, remember that story time i did about that boy that um the one that said that his mom his kid died but really it was still baking it in the mama's stomach like that one that one is going to the grave i'm not even gonna hold y'all like that was one of the first videos i took down i said oh hell no 
Because I promise you, if that man ever was to see me in public, I would be like, excuse me, sir, who are you? I would deny, deny, deny. Like, I thought back to, like, do you remember the story time I had did about the one guy that, I, oh, the imposter. Remember I told you about the imposter? And um, how he was one way, and then next thing you know, he had changed his whole persona. That was even embarrassing. Like, even thinking about, thinking back to, that was my last embarrassing situation. Because he, I think he set the precedent for it. I said, oh, hell no. Oh, hell hell no i had to sit back and be like oh no this man got me all the way messed up like please yeah he was in his masculine how he presented himself to be and that's the, the biggest catfish of it all because you lie you're a liar the need it seems like for youtube has just like gone down and it's scary because there was a time when everybody wanted to be a youtuber like youtubers put a lot of work in like a lot of work and that's not to say that any other platform doesn't like i know they do but imagine right because a tiktok video takes me maybe like an hour to edit imagine a full-blown 45 minute video youtube isn't fetch <laughs> you know um and it sucks it sucks only because it's just right now like youtube is like the cool girl that's getting overlooked right now I'm about to take these off of my eyes. They done absorbed enough. I also got this little tool from Timu as well. Um, I use this to scrape out my like eye products and stuff like that and to kind of like massage like the products into my eye. So yeah, just a cute little tool instead of using like my fingers and stuff. All right, I'm about to add some um, eye cream under my eyes. This is the Pacifica Glow Baby Eye Cream. I love using this tool specifically to put my eye cream on because it just works perfect. Like, y'all, yeah, I just be like, yep, roll, roll, roll your boat, baby, okay? And it feels good. It's like a massage, low-key. All the Timu products that I use will be linked down below, so make sure I go check them out. Morning. We are getting ready to do a few things today. It is a month. It is Tuesday. Why is my schedule so packed on a Tuesday? I have no idea, but here we are. And we are getting ready to go to a dress fitting. So that's at what eleven, I believe. I'm waiting for Morgan because she's coming with me um, <clears throat> to help me shoot the content. But after that, we are going to Wild and Out. I'm so excited. Um, I've never been to Wild and Out. I was supposed to go last year for my birthday, but you had to be vaccinated. This year is not required, of course. After I get vaccinated, now it's not required, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, I'm getting ready. I already have my outfit laid out, and we are going to be on our way in like the next 20 minutes. Okay, all done. Let's go. to the Grace Love Lace Store. It's so cute in here. Let me give y'all a quick little tour. Look at these mirrors, they're like everywhere. She said they're handcrafted from Australia and they're shipped in, that's insane. Okay, so that's the entryway. Those are the other places where people are trying on dresses and this is our little area where we'll be trying on the dresses. This is mirror though. Can y'all like get into it? It's so cute. Okay. I'm so excited. Morgan's getting her content. I can't this is my <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, we are choosing the fits. Let me show you guys what they look like. So, love that. I was like, yeah, we gotta do that one. Um, I was looking at this one, but this one has like a, a neckline. I don't know how I feel about that. Only because makeup, obviously I have makeup on and um, I hate stuff on my neck. <laughs> I just like, it makes me so, I feel like I don't have a neck. <laughs> so no, we're not gonna do that. Mm, that's like farmhouse, I don't want that. <laughs> oh, this is pretty, ooh. Honey silk, honey silk. I kind of want to step out of my comfort zone too. This is so cute, Rosa. What was this one? Oh, this is so pretty. 
Yeah, we gotta try this too. You know what? I gotta unbig my back. Do we have a moment for the dress? <laughs> this is slim. You know, in that it's first dress. She's so I love this. Yeah, With the yeah. I love this. Yeah. Y'all gotta see the back of this. Oh my gosh. The bride is here. Here he is. Frank, can I have a spin? Can you spin for me? Oh, but you did that. One more spin. And once again. This dress is insane. Y'all should have seen the veil. I'll insert some videos for y'all to see, but look at her. Like. Hold up. Welcome to see the back. That's crazy. Tell me that's not crazy. Oh yeah. It's undo these back buttons, baby. Wow. All right, y'all. Right, we are leaving Grace Loves Ways. And uh, let me tell you something. If you're getting married, babes. When one, you get married, babe. When you get married. If you are a 2023 bride run don't walk don't skip run to this so oh my god so beautiful okay y'all we are leaving the well we already left the uh grace loves lace, lace store that was so fun but we was having too much fun girl we are now running late to go to um wilding out so we're supposed to be there by 115 gps says we're going to get there at we're going to get there at 140 mm -hmm. so we'll update y'all on our way there but yes all the way in covington georgia they used to film at tyler perry studios which, which well, is, we wouldn't have made it if we it was tyler perry bro, tyler perry studios like 10 minutes away at this point like bitch it's right there but no it ain't so it's okay we are on our way oh my God. we made it y'all I was about to kiss. We ain't drive 55 minutes for nothing. We introduce that. Hi, guys. We are on our way to an event. First, we're going to go get some food with a new guy that y'all don't know yet, but um, y'all meet him today. Um, friend, relax. Yeah, we're going to Bar Vegan to get food first, and then we'll be on our way to the event. It's like a, a opening of like an art museum. Oop. Green light. Sorry, one sec. Anyway, like I was saying, girl. Um, yeah, there's like this like um collection launch art uh something gallery opening. I don't really know, but I know it's like art, and it's like different types of art. And so we're gonna go to that, but first want to get some food because they don't close until ten. It's from six to ten. So we're gonna go and get. <gasps> oh my god, he almost ran that light, baby him right there he almost ran that light that's why he didn't go he stopped he's so hell nah tripping looking like what the actual heck but i i've been chilling child i just got back from church not too long ago and i had this like banging headache but anyway um it's sunday and um my acting class they have a film festival going on today i just bought this new satin spray for my makeup it's the makeup revolution matte fix oil control fixing spray girl it worked 
I'm not even gonna hold you. My makeup lasted a lot longer than it normally would. And we were out in the hot sun yesterday. So I'm actually really, really, really surprised. I remember somebody in the other video when I had got my sunscreen. Somebody in the other video was like, you should get the black girl sunscreen. Um, I actually ended up getting it in a giveaway bag from the Strength of a Woman Fest. They gave it to us for free. So I'm so glad I didn't buy it. But I still like my banana boat. I feel like it works. Okay, makeup is done. She looks, oh, wait, hold up, bitch. Okay, we're going to set our girl. <sighs> okay, y'all, I am ready. Obviously, I'm late, as I'm always late. I'm late to everything. It's, it's truly, like, not okay. I'm trying to do better, y'all. I swear I am. Y'all. Oh. Why the fuck would y'all fall? Well, to be honest, we, we did a lot of brainstorming coming up with our idea, and we went through pretty much every wire. This is exactly why. And this is why you put the kids in danger, too. I thought you said that wasn't my fault. It that was, was my fault. This is why. Everything is your fault, Adrian. Wow. You know what? Honestly, I'm. <laughs> opportunities and that's what this business needs more of opportunities right mm -hmm. especially with the strike going on right now I, I keep talking about it because you know one thing i want you guys to realize is that these writers need to be treated fair we know that right we know they're not being paid a certain amount even with this there's a stream of services now but one thing i can honestly say is that you guys are all artists and you need to still do your art no matter what so you took an opportunity to write and create produce your own content and that is an amazing accomplishment because now you got to do it again just because you did it once don't mean you can stop. This is what you do now. You're an artist, you're a filmmaker. So go out and continue to make films. We need you. We desperately need you. Representation is everything right now. Hi, hey, hey. We're at the market. We're about to go get some fruit and some like snacks so that we can head to the park. Y'all missed the like get ready part, but go watch it on TikTok. Um, and we had to make one more stop to get the quick lights for the hookah. And what else? That's it, right? We said snacks. That's here, yeah. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. That's it. The greatest, 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 greatest. <laughs> well, I'm not driving. <laughs> hey, guys. All right. It's a little cold. Sorry. It was. Oh. My bad. <laughs> I hate how this is. Like, you better not fall. You know, like, why does it, like, it sits so high? Like, I don't know how the girls do it. Like, when I be watching Brianna's videos and she has her camera, it's perfect. The bitch never fall, it's perfect angle, her steering wheel isn't in the block in her face. If somebody's in her passenger seat, you can also see them. But- Maybe it's on a flat surface, here's it. What is a flat surface? If I put it right here, that's blocking it. Well, you just don't have an area, unless you put it over here. I mean, I guess I could turn it that way then, right? Boy. Let me see. Hmm. Damn, I the whole time. Wow, you're fucking smart, huh? And you can still see you. That's wow. So this whole time? Look at me. Oh, wow. You're not cold? I'm cold as shit. Because the damn things aren't on you. That's why. I'm over here freezing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> How you turn it on? Oh, you don't feel it? I feel it now. You feel this one? Yeah. I turned it down. You want me to turn? You oh, hot that's still? Why. You were hot still? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. I was about to say, damn, I thought she was over there baking it. <laughs> Ain't nothing. I wasn't hot. I just wasn't cold. I was. <laughs> Y'all, all the fucking 80s. <laughs> Did you see Beyonce's uh, daughter in her show? Blue. Yeah. Why did you just say Beyonce's daughter? Like, we didn't know who the fuck Blue Ivy was. <laughs> I know Blue Ivy more than I know Beyonce at this fucking point. No, you don't. Yeah, that's how I fucking do. Uh, uh, I, I knew Blue Ivy since she was in like, her, her mom's stomach. Everybody did. Exactly, so I know Blue Ivy more than I know Beyonce. Do you know Beyonce when Beyonce was in her mom's stomach? <laughs> no. So that means you know Blue Ivy more than you know Beyonce. Right no. or wrong? Wrong, because <laughs> Beyonce been out since she was a teenager and she like in her 40s now. 
but you so that's 30 years but you compared to what 10 because but you'll all you will know blue ivy from birth you would never know ever <laughs> what what beyonce is like at birth i don't know <laughs> what y'all think don't even answer that <laughs> like that's insane i never would have thought like i like beyond like blue ivy being a teenager like is she a teenager she's not she's like 10 9 how old is blue she's ivy like 12. How old is Blue Ivy? Let's check, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Ivy's net worth is $800 million. Probably more than that. But she's literally probably a that billionaire. That was three days ago. Imagine Jay-Z putting a stock in her name. Like, the bitch probably is like, she probably owns an NBA team. 800 fucking million? This girl was born in 2012. <laughs> no, this is her worst year born, being born. January 7th. Wow, she has She's a great a birthday. 1 7 2012. That's a good birthday. Well, that was, we were trying to figure out how old she was. Not how much she was worth. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, what is the answer? Did we find one? No. Okay. It just said her birthday, January 7, 2012. Hey, Siri. 2012 plus <coughs> one. Cause please, 22. Please, please. This, please. 22 plus one. That's how 11. Much? Is it really? Yes, because 2012 plus 10 years is 2022. 20, Why do you one. want to do the math instead of just asking? Hey, Google. Hey, Siri. <laughs> How old is Blue Ivy Carter? Blue Ivy Carter is 11 years old. See how easy that was? This I bitch over here doing algebra already. and shit. I already figured it out before you even asked the question. Babe. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you today. I'm not. I refuse. I'll bust through this gate right now. See how long. She almost hit his ass. The police officer. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry. She was on her phone. Yeah. Is she looking at me? No. No. Oh, she is looking at you now. Ivani, <laughs> I bet the fuck she is. <laughs> Yo, I cannot, bruh. But I couldn't see her over your head. I, could, I thought you could see behind. Like, no, oh. your ponytail's there. So I literally can't see shit. Now she know we're talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she don't. She was hit the shit out of <laughs> Annie White. She was going down. <laughs> she was going down, baby. We're gonna have to walk. We're gonna have to leave these chairs. We are. We have the blankets though. Hey y'all, we made it. We got our whole little setup going right here. And that is the stage. We're really not far. The camera makes it look further than it really, really is. So I'm low key scared to light the hookah only because you know people are weird about just like smoking in general, but it's not like a fucking cigarette. Yeah, it's gonna smell good. It's like, right, it smells good. It's just like if somebody was out here vaping. And then anything, vaping is worse. Anyway, girl, <laughs> Imani wants me to take this shot. You know the best part about um, drinking in, like, in the summertime? You don't get drunk as fast because it's so hot outside. We got our fruit. I actually don't even know if y'all can see me because it's so dark, the sun is behind me. But we got our fruit. This fruit was 20 fucking dollars. Chips. Slim Jimmy's for Imani. And go fishies. And then Mon Bon got us some Smirnoffs because well yeah, Seagram's I mean because we're we're aunties now. <laughs> We're aunties. Look, hers almost gone. We're aunties now, so it's legally we can only drink um seagrams. We got our stuffies. Yay! We got the hookah going, y'all. Imani was scared. Me? <laughs> it was because this one kept looking around all over the place every two seconds on every step. <laughs> Y'all know I'm anxious. Let it get up. Y'all know I'm anxious. I know I'll be anxious, okay? How are we gonna make it back? I'm out of breath. <laughs> no, honestly. Every time we walk, like, my heart starts racing. <laughs>
<laughs> bro, mind you, we have less baggage than what we came with because we and drunk we all the alcohol. Lighter. We feel lighter. <laughs> yeah. But we don't Equipment feel lighter. Like... <laughs> No. We didn't make it far. That's the part. It's <laughs> right there. We didn't make it far at all. Oh, I know that people be asking me how I be finding out about events. One of the events that me and Imani actually found out about was these little things. They had them outside of all of the belt lines. And they have like things. Like you can touch screen it. You know? And you can get like eat and drink find out shit, how to get around, shopping places, arts and, this is how I found out about the free uh, museum. You type in museums and they show you all the museums in Atlanta. It's crazy, right? I know.